Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. When we last left off, we were trying to find somewhere to use this key. We're at medkits, which is a little bit problematic, but there is a locked door there, and we we have a key. I mean, it it has to be there, surely. There's like a little scrawny ass corridor that we can go down somewhere, which I'm guessing is this one. No, that would not be the right one. What about this door here? The door is locked. Right. Well, I mean, let's use our key, I guess. No. Well. That's problematic. Have we missed something somewhere? Maybe. Um, ah, you little cunt. Honestly. Right. Uh, ah, this is not where we want to be. There's nothing we can do in here, I don't think. There's all these candles everywhere. Like, do we get like a match box or something where we can light candles? That would be nice. Okay, are these ribblies, man? Uh, can you, like, jog off somewhere, mate? Thanks. Right, okay, so let's try and work this map out. Uh, so we've got to be by that middle door there, I'm guessing. Um... Yeah, we can move that, but that, I mean... Like, we're already struggling on where to go. Which ain't great, Chief. Yeah, that's the door there. I mean, we can't use any kind of guns. There's nothing here that's flashing. So, oof. Good God. Now, that is the... Right, this is back into the main corridor. And it's just got that gribbly get there oh oh did something just flash i have no idea yeah no so there's nothing's flashing okay so must be down here then because there has to be something that we've missed surely i mean there's can't do anything with that. So, unless there's literally a puzzle somewhere that we've missed. Right, so we're all the way down that corridor now, but there's nothing there. And there was nothing. Yeah, fuck off you. There was... Uh, there's a door there, but this just leads back into that windy room, yeah, which ain't exactly brilliant. Oh my god, you get <laughs> uh, that's the locked door. This is not the locked door. This leads to the windy corridor, I think. Is this going to be a case where we have to start the game over and get back up to here because we've wasted all of our med kits? Ah, shit. Yep, that right, there has to be something in here, surely. Surely. Because we don't have anything. Oh, God those guys. Nothing in there. I mean look at all this junk that's actually in these rooms. Jesus Christ. What a fucking mess, man. Ah right, door is locked. We use our key here. No. You serious? Oh, okay. So the only other thing realistically that we can do is go back to that uh, spiral, uh, spiral staircase. But I don't know, Chief. 
I'm running out of ideas. And I do not like it in games when we have invincible enemies. I'm, well, okay, they're not invincible enemies. We just can't do anything with them, you know? We can push them back with the torch, but that ain't really that good. Right, so we've changed the lighting in this room. Which leads me to believe... Oh, ah! Is there like another... No. Nope, there's nothing we can do. Door is locked. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why she's like polishing the doorknob there. But don't question it. Oh, shit. It's because I'm fast forwarding the game. Uh, alright. No, so what do we do with the bloody key then? It says something about a smoking room. But. What the hell? What's the smoking room? Maybe we turn the lights off and that does something. Have a fiddle. I mean, there's a reason we can turn the lights on in here. You know? That's still locked. Nope. What does that key actually say on it? So, if we examine it. It just says it's the key that Lucy gave me. Which tells us two things, and one of those is Jack. Yep, can't go up there. I, yeah, that didn't change anything up here. Okay. All right, well, uh, okay. She said something about a statue in a room as well, but we haven't, we haven't seen any rooms of, like, stat. I think we can do there when the lights are on. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, Chief. Maybe I should get a guide for this game. I don't mind using guides if I get stuck. Because nobody wants to see, like, three hours of me walking around like a jackass. Does that change any wall textures or anything? It really doesn't. I mean, you get a very... Do we change, turn that off, maybe? Turn the light off, maybe. No. Alright. Well, hell if I know. Let's keep going. All I do know is I want a gun. I want a big gun. A grenade launcher, maybe. So... Door is locked. Can't use. Door is locked. Can't use. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, you son of a. B oh, I guess this is the smoking room because there's like a peace pipe right there. Oh. Check your doors, kids. Check your doors. Statue of an owl. Uh, okay. This is an ominous ass room, isn't it? Now, there's the statue, I guess. That stat. No, oh, I don't know. A lot of statues around here. Indian style uh, stone goli? Probably pronouncing that wrong. Being dyslexic's fun. Oh! Ah! Oh, boys. Okay, I mean, we got a piece, but... Right, note to yourself, they're not afraid of... <laughs> they are not afraid. Equip. How do we waste this son of a bitch? Get off me, you ugly motherfucker. Oh, okay, that did not... Give me the results. Okay, we're out of bullets. Out of bullets. <laughs> Handgun is ineffective. Um, 
no. How do we... Can we? We can reload there. Okay, cool. Really? Oh my god, those things are tough. Those things are strong, man. Oh. Oh. Those things are strong. Can we reload any other way or do we have to go into here which is fine i don't mind that now we're cooking with gas boys and girls now we're cooking with gas and i like the way we can use a handgun and a torch at the same time this does please me tickles me in the right places if you will let's see what's through here oh but professor morton professor i get yeah i don't think he's listening uh, right, I think this is the right way to go then. Door is locked. We'll come back to you then. Well, Morton went this way. Oh. Okay. Where the hell did Morton go? It feels nice to actually start getting some. Oh, there's a light switch. There it is. Now we don't want to look at the statue. Alright, we want to look at the light switch. The big flashing light switch. Right in front of your face. You literally cannot miss it. Does it not work? There we go. There we go. Okay, so we have lights. Which these guys seem really intent on keeping off. Wow, there is so many places. This is a fucking mansion. This is actually a mansion. We have a lot of doors to try. Door is locked. We have so many doors to try here. We get a shotgun. Oh, we've got documents. Some gribbly, miserable bastard of a man. And us, question mark? Nah, we can examine this shit. Alright. So I guess they're the tablets we're after. Oof. Yep. Nothing written on the back of these or anything. Ah. Right, so I guess we do pick these things up. Oh boy. So, dear Miss Cedric, as I explained to you during our conversation, my client trusted to Dr. Obed Morton the translation of three... Uh, I will look up the translate uh, the pronunciation of that. The three tablets, a photograph of which you will find enclosed. These are the only documents that ha uh, we have in our possession, and unfortunately, as you will notice, they are illegible. We would in no way, uh, we would in no way like to imply a doubt concerning the capacities of Professor Morton, but we prefer to call upon your services as a guarantee, as it were. Your most recent communique has convinced my client that you are the most suitable candidate for the mission. We would therefore like to invite you to travel to Shadow Island to work with Professor Morton. Furthermore, I enclose the photograph of Obed Morton that I showed you and in which you thought you recognised your mother. Oh, right. I carried out the research that you requested to your... Uh, requested. Your observation does you credit. It transpires that you that the young lady who seems so close to Obed Morton is effectively Marie Cedric. Isn't life full of happy coincidences? We agree your total uh, remuneration will be ten thousand US dollars. Five thousand closed, five thousand upon delivery of the translation. You'd Departure will be arranged for a date around October 31st. Ooh, Halloween. 
A seaplane will transport you to the island. Mr. Edward Carnby, the private detective that I have employed for your protection, will accompany you. I remain at your disposal. Yours seriously, Frederick Johnson. Okay. Ah, and we have a map of Shadow Island. Well, okay then. Did we try the key? Oh, we already used the key, didn't we? We used the key. Ah, so we've got some stairs going up. Can go through here. I like the way we get a little ammo counter. Door is locked. My god, this place is a actual proper maze. Oh, hey, sir. What are you doing here? I came to talk to you. I... To talk to me? Young lady, one doesn't come to Shadow Island to talk. Talking is useless here. <laughs> uh. You just shoot me. Oh, right, okay. Uh, we appear to have lost our coat. Thanks, mate. Carnby? Carnby, answer me. Aline, I thought you were dead. I thought so, too. I'm not cut out for a place like this. I want all this to stop right now. I understand that. You understand? You understand? You don't understand a thing. I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want with me, but all I want is for this nightmare to end right now. Look, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? In some room. Obed Morton drugged me and then locked me in here. And I tried to help him. Sounds like your wonderful professor might not be so wonderful after all. Don't move, I'm coming. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> yes, I am doing my best. Okay. Hurry up. God, what a bitch. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, we've got some more reading material. The game likes its reading material. Oh no, it's an Allen wrench. Or an Allen key, as we call them. And three first aid kits. Okay. Oh, it's a fucking door. Yeah, let's go back into the creepy room first. something we can fiddle with here. It's very difficult to... Oh, there it is. It's a save medallion. I say, it's very um, difficult to actually pick items up sometimes. That's, you know, that is what it is, I suppose. Oh, that looks like reading material. Holy two of 17? You out of your mind? What is this? The fucking Bible? Alright. <clears throat> so, A. January 13th, 1963. Today I am 10 years old and mummy fell off her horse. She says she saw a big shadow jump up in front of her, which made... Sultan rear up. Daddy made a doctor come from the mainland. He says mummy won't ever walk or see anymore. Oh, right. That's the Lucy. Got you. Uh, I wonder what it's like to be blind. I tried closing my eyes, but it isn't the same because I know I can open them again. Grandpa Jeremy made a new machine. It's not like all the other ones. It doesn't do much of anything, but it's very funny that you can make photographs. Oh, that move with it. Right, so he made a video camera thing. Ah, yeah. He told me again never to go near the gate. 
when I said that Obed and I discovered it when we were playing, he, uh, playing in the ruins of the fort, he got really angry. I know Grandpa Jeremy can open it up. Maybe someday he'll show me. June 31st, 1973. Grandpa Jeremy died this morning. Father's sorrow doesn't seem great. Grandpa Jeremy never told me how to open the gate. When I asked him, he told me that if my desire was true, then I would find a way. Father has forbidden us from going to the fort. He has even changed the combination of the lock to the gate on the bridge. If only he realized Father is afraid of the creatures of darkness. I am certain of it. He's a coward. He doesn't trust the weapons Grandpa Jeremy made. He said we were going to leave the island and that it was time we started living a normal life. I think Mother agrees with him. I don't want to live anywhere but here. The world of men revolts me with all of its triviality. Their preoccupations are so crude. Man is so vain. Grandpa left me a letter and half a photo of us in front of the gate. I can't even remember when he took it. There is a number written on the back, but I can't do anything with it. It's not the code of the control board in the library. Not the code. Okay. Why are they all so afraid of the shadows of the night? I know one day I shall learn to speak their language. Right, that's what he's trying to do. I know that one day I will pass into the world of darkness and then nobody will be able to tell me what I can or I can't or what is good, uh, can't do, or what is good and what is evil. April 18th, 1992. It's a big day. The construction of my laboratory is nearly finished. I really need it to open up uh, I really need to open up new vistas for my research. Obed is terrorized, but what can this pale reflection of a man understand? The laws of darkness are with me. My digging, uh, by digging the underground gallery that leads to the tunnel to the sacrificial chapel, fuck me, I have discovered another way to get to the gate. So I won't have to clear Grandpa Jeremy's path that my idiot father made inaccessible. As soon as I get my hands on that translation, I'm so impatient. And there's hope that Edenshaw doesn't get it into his head to start telling me how to behave again. I'll never understand his real motivations. Grandpa Jeremy held him in high esteem. But I know he's on the wrong side of the shadow. That when the moment comes, he will try everything to stop me from succeeding. I know that when the time comes, he'll I'll have to neutralize him. Him too. March 2nd, 1995. I've just reread a few pages of my notebook. And I realize just how right I've always been. Father should never have gotten between us and our destiny. But in the end, he has been much more helpful to me than he would ever have believed. I have made great progress in the translation of the tablets. A new world is going to open before me. It bothers me little that Obed profits from my accomplishments in order to win himself honours in high society. One day my brother will find a wife and have children, then what? Then he will return to Shadow Island to fulfil his fate. I don't have the luxury of all that time to waste. We will live in immense danger. But what of it? We Mortons have lived with danger for over a century. We've mastered it and learned how to tame it. Obed is a sniveling coward, just like the others. Grandpa Jeremy left me several leads, but I still don't understand why he never confided the secret of the gate to me. No doubt he thought that I didn't deserve it. I still need raw materials, those I used for my initial experiments and are rotting. Barely good enough to drop in the pickling formulation formalin the storms too are t the storms too are too infrequent obed met somebody that could resolve my supply problem i've made so much progress since my last attempt oh father i would never have believed that you would one day be so close to divinity perfect fusion is within my grasp july 8th 2000 while I was foraging through Obed's affairs, I found def uh, definitive proof that he has not only betrayed me, but the whole of the Morton family history. The letter Lamb sent him leaves me in no doubt. More raw materials, but this time fresh. 
Okay, right, so do we? That's a very that's a pretty damn good character model, actually, considering uh, you know, the time this was made. Um right. Very high resolution. Uh right, okay, so Right, okay, so although we don't physically pick them up and they're still there to read, she does actually like have a copy of them, which is nice. Cool. Alright. So Obed Morton. Door is sealed up and we can't actually get out of there. So we only have one way to go. Boys and girls. Do we fear the darkness? Ah, like fuck do we. Alright. Let's go. Let's go waste some monsters, shall we? So he's trying to open a gate. Some sort of portal. And he believes he's going to achieve... Oh! Oh, sweet! Jesus! Looks like something out of Quake. You take the triple barreled shotgun, yeah. Fuck yeah, we do. Nine rounds. Although, if it's a triple barrel, does it like fire all nine at a time? Triple barreled sawn off shotgun and it's a customized weapon. Uh, I mean, yeah. We've got that actually equipped. And we do have a torch on the boy as well. That's really interesting. Oh no, she just holds the, the that next to it. Alright, so it looks like we've got a lot of ammo, but I'm guessing we don't. Because I'm guessing she just charges all barrels at once. Which, you know, nine shells, that gives you three rounds. Uh, or three shots. But, hey. Oh, another med pack. They're giving us these med packs like candy. First aid kit. Alright. Lamb? Is that you? Don't overdo it. Did you receive the documents? Stop it. You sound like Alan. You have no idea what is going on here. Two agents will never stand a chance. What we need is the entire army. You're a downright bastard. Ooh. Come get me out of here right now. Lamb? Lamb! No. No. Don't do it. Let me explain. Oof. Door is sealed up. Well, that's no good. Where do we go then? So, more or Obed's just taking a punch to the face from his brother. Okay. Oh, something's a little bit salty somewhere. Okay, so he's doing experiments, I'm guessing, on bodies because he's using some sort of pickling juice. We've got an Allen key now as well. Uh, I can't think of anywhere where we actually needed to use an Allen key, but uh, I'm sure we can find something. Okay, let's keep going. Nice to have this shotgun, though. Jeez. We're going to really fuck up... Ooh. Oh. Uh, you know what, guys? I don't think we need to fuck with you. Ooh. Hey. Finally. Now you are going to tell me what's going on. I still don't know. Here, I got your stuff. Thanks. I never should have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not sure anymore. I have this feeling there's more than one Obed Morton. It's too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you, somewhere you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby, you and I both know the safest place is two hours away by plane. I haven't managed too bad up to now, and I'm not planning on just sitting around doing nothing with the little time I have left to live. I want to know. Just before, a voice up above. There's a trap door. With your help, I can reach it. Why not stick together, the two of us? We both don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane? Come on, give me a hand. And if I say no? That's not your style. Of course, why would we, you know, 
stay together. That makes too much sense. Ooh. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. I have ever believed my fate could be in the hands of a woman. You found out how to speak to the mirrors. Yep. I know what you are seeking, and I can help you find it. We all need to know where we come from. We all need to know where the blood racing through our veins comes from. So I, Judas de Cerdo, I shall strike a deal with you. Edenshaw, the old witch doctor, stole my mirror. Should you bring it back to me, I shall raise the veil that hides your past from you. I know I can trust you. Go. Hey, it's a strange man in the mirror. Wants a mirror. And he's going to tell us who our mummy was, I guess. Okay, don't trust him, Eileen. Don't trust him. Seems very, very sus, if you ask me. My God, look at these, these bloody textures. They look incredible. Hmm, I don't know why we've got any loot in here. It looks like we're gonna go. Oh, ah, we can turn the light on. Interesting. I'm guessing we've got a choice. We can either go out the window. Or, you know, maybe not. Uh, but we are out of time again. So, we're going to leave it here, guys. Um, glad to have the shotgun. Very happy to have a shotgun. Looks like Morton and his brother are up to no good. Or should I say the two Mortons from the sounds of it. Um... Yeah, although Obed looks like he's dug himself uh, into a bit of a corner here, and he's the one that originally called us both to this island to try and stop his maddened brother. Uh, right, and we've got a strange man in a mirror that wants a mirror as well, which is interesting. Well, hopefully with our flashlight and our shotgun, we can start getting some answers in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always... Until next time.